So the XFL is to start their opening season this weekend. And honestly, I know that we've seen a lot of startup football leagues okay. fail in the past. But I I don't know, man. This one just feels different because we've never had a startup and a football league that tried to jump into the football market that actually failed in the past and decided to come back again. And Vince McMahon appears to have learned from his mistakes. He doesn't, this time he's not going to be involved with the actual product of the XFL at all. Rather, he's just involved in the funding of it. The person that's in charge of everything else? Well, that's the CEO, Oliver Luck. Well, you may know that last name. Yes, I know what you might be asking. And here's your answer. The answer is yes. This is Andrew Luck's daddy. So why Andrew Luck's daddy of all people? Well, Oliver Luck has extensive experience in the N well, not in the NFL, but as an executive for football. He was actually an executive for the evil NCAA. And I feel like the XFL has tremendous potential because for now, they're just serving as some sort of like a D-League to former NFL players. But in the future, they could actually provide an option for, uh, for potential college athletes to go to the XFL, spend three years in the XFL before going to the NFL because the XFL would be paying these players. And you have to understand as NCAA athletes, that's actually very, very attractive. Think about it. Think about all the NCAA athletes that have virtually no shot at NFL careers. You don't think they're gonna, you don't think they're gonna consider the XFL as an option as opposed to the NFL? You know, for all you know, you could end up declaring from the draft from the XFL, get undrafted, and then you have the option of playing in the NFL or the XFL. There's just potential over here, and I feel like they're going to do it right this time. Vince McMahon said he's willing to invest $500 million into this league, which is five times more his initial investment in 2001. And the fact that he's not going to try to make this a WWE football league with hot cheerleaders and everything just makes me a little bit excited. I have a video coming out about the differences in rules in the NFL and the XFL this upcoming weekend. But for now, I figured it'd be a lot of fun to make this video because there's a lot of former NFL players that I could see joining the XFL. And the first one, and he's the most likely player to join the XFL because he actually talked about it, was Chad Johnson. So I don't know if you guys seen this video I made or not, but Chad Johnson, actually has interest in trying out for the XFL as a kicker. Could you imagine that? Chad Johnson as a kicker, not as a wide receiver, but a kicker. Maybe the team that signs him will put him in a wide receiver as well, but it'd be really fun just to see just to see Ocho Cinco playing football once again and just doing his little dances and just having his personality shine on the football field. I feel like the XFL will do anything it takes to get him on a roster. And I feel like the XFL will do anything it takes to get these other 10 players on a roster. And the next player that I think the XFL will try to sign is Adam Pac-Man Jones. And the reason for this is Pac-Man has never shied away from the controversial thing. He's actually a former wrestler. I don't know if you remember, but during the year he was suspended from the NFL, I think it was 2009 or 2010, Pac-Man Jones actually was a wrestler in TNA. He didn't really do much wrestling, but he loves the publicity. He loves the limelight. Yes, he's learned from his mistakes, but if an opportunity comes to make money playing football, I could see Pac-Man taking it, especially because I don't imagine the XFL being as intense as the NFL once was. The next player that I could see joining the XFL and these the player after that's actually his former teammate is Josh Gordon. Now this depends on whether a team wants to take a chance on Josh Gordon, but as of recently, he has been suspended indefinitely once again for violating drug policies in the NFL. And I know this is getting a little old for us and I can't I have to take a moment to say you don't know how difficult of a battle it is to battle with a crippling addiction. It's not something as easy as, oh, I could stop. You know, this is something that's literally harvested in his neurology. You know, he need, he may need some things to function. I don't know how his brain works, but let's be sensitive to Josh Gordon's situation. I would like to see him on a football field. He's so talented, but of course, 
he comes first. He needs to get him through this tough situation. And if he can, it'd be cool to see him in the NFL or the XFL again. The next player that I think is a lock to come back to the XFL is Johnny Manziel. And the problem with this is Johnny Manziel, as entertaining of a player that he was, He's just not a good football player, and it really depends on whatever roster signs him, how is the competition that he's going to be facing off against? Because if you go back to his tape when he was on Texas A&M, literally all he would do is scramble around, look, 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 scramble around, and he would make a play happen with his feet or, you know, just purely off of improvisation. So the question is, will Johnny Manziel face steep competition in the XFL? And if he does, then chances are they're not going to be interested in signing him. But this dude has so much clout that you just got to give him a chance. The next player that I think will join the XFL for similar reasons as Josh Gordon is Randy Gregory. And Randy Gregory, if you don't know who he is, he was supposed to be a top five pick in the 2014 NFL draft. He fell all the way to the second round to the Dallas Cowboys because of drug issues. And for the most part, he was suspended again indefinitely, despite being extremely promising as a pass rusher for the Dallas Cowboys. For substance abuse problems and I think he'd fit in with the XFL again it matters how much the XFL wants to place an emphasis on drug policies and I feel like for a startup football league beggars can't be choosers if you could get a familiar name in the NFL you're gonna go for it even though morally I don't necessarily agree with it so a player that I also think could join the XFL's Vontez Burfict and bro nothing symbolizes the old XFL more than Burfict because dude this guy would deliver those hard bone crushing hits this guy is known as a dirty player if you let him loose on an XFL field he's gonna bring you highlight after highlight after highlight so it would be very interesting to see Vontez Perfect joining the XFL and you will see a lot of bone crushing hits if he does join the XFL. Now, these last five are very, very big long shots of joining the XFL. But for the sake of just the sake of being a fan, I feel like it'd be fun if they did. So the the number one player that the XFL is probably targeting that will bring so much hype, so much attention to the XFL is Colin Kaepernick. And you have to understand that Colin Kaepernick was very close to signing with the AAF. The issue was money. Cap makes, believe it or not, Cap makes a lot of money despite being off of the field and away from football. And he doesn't see it being as a worth an investment to put his body on the line for minimal capital. So it depends on how much money Colin Kaepernick is offered. And if he's offered the right amount of dollars, he will probably join or possibly join the XFL. But I consider this to be a long shot. Now, the next player, and I'm going to do my best to get you guys this information because this guy actually works at my uh, works out at my gym, and that's Terrell Owens. And I actually had a conversation with him recently, but it was like a BS conversation about how we work out and this and that and this and that. But I'm going to try next time I see him, I'm going to try to get this out of him. Terrell Owens, first of all, is in phenomenal shape. He plays basketball all the time at our gym. and he's in phenomenal shape. He's still working out, he's still training, and he is interested, he was interested in continuing to play football according to a recent documentary on his life called The Football Life. And knowing his personality, him being a showman, you know, him being goofy, him being T.O., I just feel like it's a perfect fit. T.O. in the XFL, that would get people to tune in. People will still want to watch Terrell Owens, just as people will still want to watch the next player here, Des Bryant. Now, I feel like NFL teams are actually entertained or intrigued in signing Des Bryant. I feel like he'll get another shot in the NFL, which makes this a little bit less likely. But in the uh, but in the case that he does not, bro, Des Bryant has like the sixth most Instagram followers out of all football players. So you want a guy with this much clout to be part of your startup football league. This is a great way to bring awareness to your brand, get people to tune in. As a former Cowboy fan, as a, as a Cowboy fan, I would tune in to watch a former Cowboy play especially Des Bryant because he's a fan favorite in Dallas. It'd be nice to see him join the Dallas XFL team. And the final two players 
that I think can join the XFL. These are long shots, bro. This first one, especially Michael Vick is a huge long shot. Like he's made so much money in the NFL. I don't see why he would put his body on the line. He appears to have an analyst job now, and he's very revered in the football community. I don't see a need for him doing this, but it's just, this is a hypothetical list. So it'd be a lot of fun to see him in the XFL. The final player has such a horrible name that I don't think there's a chance he joins, but you never know. And that's the Kraken, Greg Hardy. We know what happened with him and domestic violence, uh, claims and whatnot and i don't think the xfl brand would want his name on the on their br would want to be synonymous with his name but again this is a list of players that i think could potentially join the xfl so let me know in the comment section down below if there's any players that you think i missed out on aside from that guys if you're new to this channel make sure to subscribe for more football content i'm your boy the flight mike and i'll catch you guys in the next upload